In this video, we are going to see how do you write a quadratic equation from a statement. This is important because you will come across many practical problems where you will be given a statement and you will be required to write down a quadratic equation in the first instance and then solve it. The product of two consecutive positive integers is 30 right so the first thing you are told is that you have to find out the product of two consecutive positive integers right so let's say the first positive integer is x because these are consecutive the second one necessarily has to be x plus 1 but what do I know I know that the product of these two or in other words x time x plus 1 is 30 right or in other words if I just write this down I get x square plus x is equal to 30 right you need to find out the value of x over here now I mean uh, we can solve this as well but I guess to solve this you will need to know certain things which we are going to deal with in some of the subsequent videos so I am not touching upon them right now but what you need to understand is you just need to kind of write down these particular statements in a format which kind of takes care of the aspect and converts it into a quadratic equation if I move 30 this side I get x squared plus x minus 30 is equal to 0 here x is the variable okay and the highest power of x is 2 so this is a quadratic equation let's look at another case over here write a quadratic equation from a statement the area of a rectangle is 152 meters square now we know the area of rectangle is what it is equal to length into breadth and this area is given to us as 152 meters square the length of the rectangle okay length is 3 times 3 sorry is 3 more than twice of the breadth right so let's say if I say that the breadth of this rectangle let that be equal to x right then what is the length the length is 3 more plus 3 then twice the breadth what is the breadth the breadth is x so twice the breadth 2x plus 3 times x is equal to 152 meters square right if I just multiply this x goes into 2x to make it 2x square plus x times 3 gives you 3x is equal to 152 meters square but we know that a quadratic equation is of the form ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So I just take this 152 to the other side and maybe for the ease of reference we can just uh, remove this meter square for the time being. You get 2x square plus 3x minus 152 is equal to 0. Right? Now again if you see the variable over here is x and the highest power of the variable is 2 therefore this is a quadratic equation so what we have done is we have converted the statement into a quadratic equation and we know that you know maybe after the end of the last video I would request you guys to resolve these questions and get an answer for yourself the methodology we will learn in the subsequent videos but the idea here was just to give you an idea in terms of how do you write a quadratic equation from a given statement